Hey guys, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. <clears throat> Hello everyone. I hope that I'm live right now, guys. If you guys are able to listen me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. If there is any issues with the audio or the video, guys, please do let me know. No issues with the audio or the video, right, guys? Good. Amazing. Amazing. So how are you guys? Is it fine? Good. Great. Amazing. What is the scenario right over there? How are you guys? Is everybody fine? Good? Great? Amazing? What is the scenario? Good. Are you guys liking? Uh, <clears throat> are you guys liking this uh, C++ and all this C++, DSA, CP? You guys are liking this or not? Hmm? Not good, Rikita Arora. What happened? Are you guys liking C DSA or what? What is the scenario, guys? What is the scenario? DSA Shuru Ho Gaya, sir. <laughs> Dude, we even completed our entire go code on lead code. Like, what was that? <laughs> was that just for fun? <laughs> huh? You guys, DSA is complex. Okay. So think about DSA. Everybody, I want you guys to understand. If you guys don't like DSA, okay, you guys feel that it is hard. You guys feel like this is shit. Okay. I am the person who has felt much more worse than that. Coffee ho gaya, bhaiya, de Thank you so much, bhaiya. Thank you. I have felt much more worse than that till now as well. If you guys will ask me if I like DSA, I, if I find a particular person who is the embodiment of DSA, I would fucking kill him. Take it. I don't like data structures, algorithms at all. I don't like competitive programming at all. I hate it from the bottom of my heart. That is how much I hate DSA. That is how much I hate DSA guys. But I have understood one thing. If my aim at any particular point of time in my life, at any particular point of time, if I'm a student, if I'm a working professional, if I'm working in a startup, if I have my own thing as well, if at any particular point of time, I want to get into an MNC, I want to get into a big corporate. I want to get into big name companies itself at a good, uh, like package, then I have to do DSA. I don't have an option. I have to do competitive programming. I don't have an option. So it's as simple as that. Even if I hate it, if I practice it a lot, if I put time to it as much as possible, I will do good at it. This is what I have seen. And guys, trust me on this. It took me six months. Six months of daily giving at least one and a half hours every single day to DSA as well as completed programming to solve my very first question on lead code. To solve my very first question on lead code, it took me six months. And you guys did it in less than what? Four days. You guys did it in less than four days. Pat yourself on the back. You guys are performing much better than me. The point I'm trying to tell you guys this is that the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I got into great companies due to DSA, not because of my projects. Projects are important, but that is not the only thing that they care about. They care about DSA a lot more than that. Okay. So what is the preferred language to do DSA? I got confused. Some are saying Python, some are saying Java or C++. Okay. <clears throat> How many of you guys have this question that, okay, which language for data structure algorithms should be suitable? for me or which is the preferable language to do data structures algorithms or 
competitive uh, programming itself could you guys let me know many of you guys have this question oh okay i'm i'm very sorry i thought that i cleared this with everybody i'm extremely sorry guys i really thought that i had cleared this with everybody i will i will make this up for you guys i will explain it to you guys right now itself okay i'm very sorry i thought i taught you guys this but uh, i think so it skipped my mind or something like that so let me just share my screen first of all give me a second guys give me a second don't worry guys i am able to understand this i am i am able to relate to you guys as well just give me a second let me just share my screen first where present screen share screen entire screen share i hope so that you guys are able to see my screen clearly uh are you guys able to see my screen clearly guys so my preferred opinion will be go with either c++ or java okay any one of them that you choose is fine if you are asking me i went with c++ i preferred c++ for data structures and algorithms but between c++ and java both are exceptionally good exceptionally fine to get you guys where you want to go i will suggest against using any of the programming language you want to ask so what about c so what about uh, javascript so what about python so what about all these languages i will say no to every single one of them the programming language that you choose for data structures and algorithms and computer programming that is called the technical term for that when i'm i'm also an interviewer right i take up interviews for many different companies so we call them as your programming language of choice we call them as your programming language of choice guys now what do you mean by a programming language of choice that you means you should know inside outs of that particular programming language when you choose a particular programming language like python or javascript to do data structures and algorithms these are very vast programming languages these are called as development languages itself you are not expected to know the ins and outs of these programming languages because they have so many applications of the same and think about it your interviewer is going to be a technical person he would have worked in python or javascript for more than 5 years of his life 10 hours a day 5 days a week for continuously for 5 years in just python or javascript now that guys know a lot more than what you guys will ever know by doing just dsa so it is always the kind of question that he can ask to you guys in your interviews can be very tough so never do data structures and algorithms in python or javascript or some other programming language never choose c as a programming language just plain old c as a programming language to do dsa and c++ uh, your computer programming because that is one of the most shittiest programming languages that you can see it is one of the slowest the lengthiest it will just cause you never to just complete the exam itself so always choose between c++ or java again okay, both of them are exceptionally good and they will get you the results okay सर क्या आपकी शादी हो गई है ये 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 बेड़िया ओके नो मैन कम ऑन नो मैरिज मैन आई एम स्टिल वेरी स्मॉल फॉर गेटिंग मैरिड सो व्हाट आर द राउंड्स ऑफ कोडिंग सिंपल यू विल हैव डीएसए राउंड ओके डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरिथम्स राउंड मल्टीपल राउंड्स ऑफ दैट देन अ टेक्निकल राउंड वेयर योर प्रोजेक्ट्स वेयर योर इंटर्नशिप्स वेयर योर ट्रेनिंग्स विल बी लुक्ड एट एंड देन यू विल बी हैविंग योर लास्ट पर्टिकुलर राउंड दैट विल बी योर एचआर राउंड सो या व्हाट वाज योर फर्स्ट पैकेज जस्ट क्यूरियस so uh, um, it depends uh, on who you ask uh, for example my first internship that i got was as a data analyst in reliance industries so my stipend during that internship was i think so 22000 rupees per month it was a two months internship itself then i got a six months internship as a data scientist intern so there my stipend was approximately uh, like in the initial two months it was 60000 uh, rupees per month later on for the next four months it was 80000 rupees per month itself because i got some other opportunities so i talked to my hr and they raised my stipend um after that i got into uh, google as an explore ml lead a machine learning engineer itself there i cannot say exactly what my salary was but it was equivalent to an on road um like the ctc was equivalent to an on road uh, mercedes benz e class in uh, delhi okay and uh, then i switched companies once again uh, i got to work for fastnel there i my salary incremented for almost 
um 48 percent uh, that was the increment in salary that i was able to get so yeah and currently the salary that i'm at is 15 percent more than the previous one so if you guys know mathematics you guys can calculate it <laughs> yeah okay so can you teach java in the next boot camp okay so uh if you guys are interested in that the next uh boot camp on data structures and algorithms that i will be having at any particular point of time I will have it in Java. If you guys want that, uh, I don't have any problems with that. I know a little bit of Java. I've worked with it. I don't prefer to do uh, like data structure algorithms in Java, but if you guys want, I can definitely help you guys out with that. That is my job at the end of the day, right? To listen to your demands and work on it. If you were to choose C++ and Java, which one would you have chosen? I chose C++. I did my DSA and CP and C++ itself. Uh, how to manage DSA plus Bernstack plus college? Tell in detail. Okay, if I give you guys a particular um, timetable, will you guys follow it? If I give you guys a timetable to manage data structures and algorithms, um, your development, that is your projects, as well as your uh, like college studies, will you guys uh, work upon it? Like this is the timetable that I followed when I was in college. That is the timetable that I will be letting you guys know. The first rule of the timetable is very simple. If you are a buffoon, if you are an idiot, if you are the dumbest person in the entire world, okay, then do all the assignments that the college gives you on your own. Okay. First rule of my timetable is that if you are the dumbest person in the entire world, then do the assignment on your own itself. Okay. Otherwise, if you are smart, if you guys are intelligent, if you guys think straight, then make friends, at least have a cordial relationship with people who are already doing the assignments on time and just copy those assignments. Do not, do not do the assignments on your own. That is the first thing that I want you guys to know. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. That is the first rule of the timetable. I never in my entire college life, I didn't do a single assignment on my own. Even the college, uh, this, what do you call it? That practicals, right? File maintenance and all that. I used to just take the students or my seniors uh, uh, journal and I just used to blindly copy it. That is the first rule guys. If you are going to devote time to putting up assignments or doing assignments, it is not going to work out for you. It is not going to work out for you. Then how are we going to learn as the teachers say, okay, okay. So if you guys feel that uh, you want to learn what the teachers are saying, then believe in this particular fact that what they already know at the age of 45, 55 years old, they are earning 50,000 rupees per month. That is less than the stipend a particular IT student gets if he is learning the right things. So if you want to learn those things, if you see your future that at the age of 55, I'm satisfied with 50,000 rupees per month, you can go further and learn that. Otherwise, start learning things that are going to get you a high paying job. That is the first thing that you need to understand. Okay. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Okay. The next thing about the timetable is pretty simple. You have to drink a lot of coffee or tea. You have to be in that particular mind state and you have to sleep for less than seven hours a day. Nothing, even a second more than that. If you are sleeping, you are already wasting your time. Third and the final bullet point of the timetable is very simple. If it is a constructive meeting with your friends, if it is something that is helping you relieve your mind of topics, okay, it is something that is helping you study or do better right over there. Okay. Then it's fine. Go and meet your friends, but you should have it timed. You shouldn't be spending like four hours, five hours a day with your friends. If you are doing that, you are actually wasting a lot of time. Yes. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, sitting with your friends, enjoying talking about stuff. May you are meeting your friends to get your head lighter. You are not meeting your friends to escape from studying. You need to understand that. Okay. Now comes to the timetable. The timetable is pretty simple, but if you are starting out, this is the first time that you're coding. Okay. This is the first time you are entering into the coding department itself. Do not spend more than one and a half hours coding a day. One and a half hours programming a day is more than sufficient, more than sufficient. If you are spending anything more than that, you are actually wasting your time. 
but dedicated one and a half hours every single day without fail one and a half hours every single day so this is what i do um, when i am training students this is the program that i follow when i am training students as well so i am going to explain you that particular program if you guys pay attention to it you will be able to understand how well this works and believe me on this guys that the students who have followed this particular program the this time table they study under me so that is a different thing but in full stack development okay in full stack development i got 100% placements to the students that i trained in data science i got 98% placement ratio from the students who actually followed this cyber security i'm not that great of uh, at cyber security uh, believe me when i say this but still 82% of the students who followed this actually got their placements and at reputed companies for example in full stack the average package was 18 lakhs per annum in data science the average package was 15 lakhs per annum in cyber security the average package was 10.5 lakhs per annum but they got it right so listen to this very carefully first thing you are just starting out let's believe this you don't know anything you don't know programming you have no idea about it okay start out with 1.5 hours to one programming language that's it that's it okay 1.5 hours a day for one programming language itself now this particular programming language is going to be either c++ or java if you are choosing any other programming languages believe me on this particular fact that you are actually wasting your time okay you are not doing anything if you don't know where to study from if you have no idea that oh sir okay we have to study c++ or java but i don't know where to study from just go to youtube search 10 hour course on c++ done that's it you don't have to think about a lot just go on youtube search for 10 hours course on c++ you get a course right over there as simple as that now this particular programming language you have to spend not more than 8 days do not spend no anything a single second more than 8 days itself if you are spending a single second more than 8 days again you guys are wasting your time programming language is not that important if you are able to understand a little bit of basics of c++ you will be able to start with data structures and algorithms directly that is where you need to spend most of your time please do not spend more than 8 days learning the programming language 1.5 hours a day 8 days okay if you are able to do it in less than that amazing great go further with it okay so that is how you need to work with are you guys able to understand this please let me know are you guys able to understand this guys please let me know yes once you have completed this that is the second step you are going to increase the time that you are going to spend studying from 1.5 hours i want you guys to increase the time to 2 hours and 15 minutes not a lot just by 45 minutes i am asking you guys to increase your time to you can divide the time okay you can study 30 uh, 45 minutes and then take up a break then study 45 minutes then take up a break study 45 minutes that is up to you guys to figure it out 2 hours 15 minutes if you are not able to spend on your on your placements and believe me i have been a college student i know how much time we have we have that much time if you skip on your so like going and talking to friends running around girls or guys and doing all kind of crap you have 2 hours 15 minutes i'm not saying that okay give it in the morning give it in the evening figure out what time suits you i don't care about that figure out what time suits you for me the timing that suited me was in the middle of the night so i used to study in the night itself i used to spend less time sleeping so that is up to me but again for you guys you have to decide how much time you want to uh, at what time you want to study okay this 2 hour 15 minutes will be divided into two halves one hour you guys will be spending on data structures and algorithms one hour 15 minutes you guys will be studying on lead code okay initially you can have it like it dsa is 1 hour 30 minutes and lead code is 45 minutes and then you can like change that okay it can be 1 hour 30 minutes for dsa and then uh, 45 minutes for lead code 
Okay, that is something that you have to decide because initially when you are studying DSA, you don't know a lot. Okay, so whatever you are studying, you will have to practice it. So there will be less questions to practice and more to study. So you will have to give more time to DSA and less time to lead code. Later on, it will be less time to lead code, DSA and more time to lead code. Okay, so you have to balance that out. Okay, so first start with this. Okay, one hour, 30 minutes for DSA. And then 45 minutes, whatever you have studied in DSA, try to find similar questions and solve it on lead code itself. Once you do this for, I think so a month. Okay. If you are doing this for a month, then you can shift to this particular routine in which you are spending one hour on DSA and one hour, 15 minutes on lead code. Your job is not to solve as many questions as possible. Your job is to learn right over here. Please try to understand this guys. Your job is not to solve as many questions as possible. Your job is to learn. Your job is to understand stuff properly. That is the aim. Now this is going to take you almost if you're fast, then two months. If you're not fast, then three to four months. Okay. So two to three months is usually what I believe that you guys should be spending on data structures and algorithms. Okay. Covering up all the topics from arrays, linked lists, trees, graphs, greedy algorithms, dynamic programming. Uh, stacks, queues, DQs. Okay, there are a lot of different things right over there, guys. It is going to take you time. Okay, three hour months is usually what I have seen in students that they take up to learn DSA. Now, once you have completed this, okay, once you have completed this, you have completed. Okay, if you guys want to take up a screenshot, you can because I'm going to remove this because I need to. Con okay, I can. I can scroll down, right? Yeah, I can scroll down. Oh, fuck it. Okay. The next thing after you have done with DSA and everything. Okay. Now DSA don't learn it from books guys. That is one of the worst things that students do. They get up a book, Nasima Rao. Even I did that. I was not able to learn anything from that itself. For me, my elder brother sat with me. He actually taught me DSA on a daily basis. We used to come on zoom clock, clock like calls and he used to teach me DSA every single day. He used to give me questions to solve every single day. That is how I learned DSA. And that is how at DevTown as well, when I'm training students, I teach them in the exact same manner itself. But uh, let's come to the third particular topic after completing DSA, what to do. Okay. So again, you are going to increase your time from two hours, 30 minutes to approximately two hours, 45 minutes. Okay. That is the max time that you have to dedicate, not even three hours, two hours, 45 minutes at max you have to dedicate. This is going to be the max for the rest of till the time that you get placed. Nothing, it's not even a single second more than this. I'm not asking you guys to spend six hours a day coding. No, two hours, 45 minutes, more than sufficient guys. Divide this time in between two. Okay. One hour you will be spending just uh, or even one hour, 30 minutes. That is up to you guys to uh, determine one hour to one hour, 30 minutes guys. Okay, that is the time that you have to spend for again, competitive programming out of code chef. Out of code chef. Okay. So lead code three months is more than sufficient. Try to solve as many questions as possible. You have to then proceed to code chef itself. That is where you are actually training yourself to give exams. Okay. So one hour is more than sufficient, but some students feel they need to give a little bit more depending upon what is your strong point. So you have to decide that, but yes, one hour bare minimum CP competitive programming on code chef. You have to do this. Okay. And the next particular part, okay. The next particular part is going to be your particular training, your particular, whatever field you want to get into data analytics, artificial intelligence, a data science, machine learning, full stack web development, cyber security, ethical hacking, anything that you guys are interested in, you guys will be spending the next, uh, one hour, 45 minutes on that, on creating projects, learning new technologies and so on and so forth till the day that you guys are getting placed. Till the day that you guys are getting placed, this will be your timetable. Now again, guys, like I specified, I'm not specifying at what time to study or not, because that is dependent upon student to student. That is something that I've seen students when I'm training them that, okay, some students prefer to learn in the morning. Some students prefer to learn in the night. Some students prefer to just not learn at all. I've seen such type of students as well, and I feel sorry for them, but yeah, you have to follow this. Are you guys able to understand code to run? I don't even know who the fuck you are. Uh, if you don't want to listen to me, I'm just going to block you once again. I don't really care. You were able to put down your messages, but you are misusing that. And I don't like people like that. 
Okay. How do how so what to do to become a data analyst and which language is good for data analyst? So what to become to become a data analyst? Okay. First of all, no matter what you guys want to become. Okay. Please try to understand this. This is something that I'm telling you guys generally all over. If you are feeling that I want to become a data analyst, a data scientist, a data engineer, a machine learning engineer, an AI engineer, I want to learn, become a software engineer. I want to become a cybersecurity expert. I want to become an ethical hacker. I want to become a front end developer, back end developer, DevOps engineer, cloud computing engineer, anything inside of IT, anything that requires programming, even 1% of programming DSA and CP is compulsory. You don't have an escape from that. DSA and CP is compulsory guys for you. You don't have an option right over there. Okay. Now when it comes to which particular stuff to select, okay, should I go further with data science? Okay. First of all, how many of you guys know this? I'm being very frank. I want an honest opinion from you guys. What is the difference between all these topics? Data science. Okay. Data analysis, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, uh, deep learning. Okay. Uh, mach uh, machine. Okay. These are all the topics that is coming up on top of my head. What is the difference between all these topics? Are you guys able to point out data analysis, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning. Ah. So the answer to this is if you are coming from YouTube, okay, or you are coming from Instagram, don't learn from there. Okay. Instagram is not a place to learn from. YouTube is not a very good place to learn from. Okay. All these topics are not individual topics. Anybody who is telling you guys that there is job in AI, he has no idea what is AI. Very frankly speaking to you guys, he has no idea what is AI. There's nothing called as ki, oh, there are jobs in AI. Fucking there is nothing like that. It is basically like telling you guys that I want to drink coffee. That is my aim. I want to drink coffee, but I only have a cup. Can I drink coffee? I want to drink coffee, right? But I don't have coffee. I don't have milk. I don't have sugar. I don't have water. I just have a cup. Can I drink coffee? No, right. Impossible. I cannot drink that. Right. So all these are tools. All these are tools. So data science is the topic that you guys need to study. And if you want to get into in any of these fields, I literally don't care about it. If in any of these fields, if you want to get into data science, is the field that you need to study under that one of the fields is data analytics. One of the tools that is there is AI. Under that, you are having your machine learning, deep learning, large language models and all that under that. So you have to study all of them. You can't just say that I'm going to learn machine learning and I'm going to get a job. Like people are like, dude, who is teaching you guys all this? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> who told you guys that? <laughs> okay. So that is the first thing. Okay. Second particular thing guys, uh, for those who are interested ki, Oh, should I go further with data science or should I go further with, uh, web development? Okay. How many of you guys think that web developers are uh, of no use? Like learning web development is of no use. I know, I know some of you guys are going to be there. Uh, how many of you guys think that like AI has come up right now and it is going to take over the jobs of all the web developers out there. Mm hmm. Tell me guys, tell me how many of you guys think that? See, I know many of you guys think that, okay. You don't have to lie about it. Take care. I know because I also scroll through Instagram on my free time. I also have some free time. I also be like, oh, wow, kya te badam badam kacha badam. I also see all these reels, right? So I'm able to understand many of you guys. What do you guys think about first thing? If you feel that the job of a web developer is to just create a fucking website, you are living in 2015, not even in 2025, 2015 guys, we are 10 years like in the past, a web developer no longer means that he is going to just create websites. A web developer right now can create apps, 
can create Amazon, your uh, Windows apps as well. Okay, Android apps, Windows apps, iOS apps, AR, VR apps. Okay, uh, they can create your watch OS apps. They can create your uh, particular TV apps, TV OS apps and so on and so forth. They can create as many things as you can imagine. And dude, literally, if you guys feel so that an app is only a website, okay, only like, oh, I go to a website and I see that dude, like what the fuck, like it does not matter right now. The quality of the AI, let me tell you guys this, the quality of the AI is such that I can't even convert my Figma files into HTML, CSS, JavaScript directly. I have to put up a developer on top of it to make sure to be able to do that. A 10 standard student right now is learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript properly can do that for me Can do that for me for free. I don't even have to use an AI right over there. So please try to understand this. The only job that is actually secure in the industry are good quality data scientists and good quality web developers as well as cyber security engineers. Of course, these are also very secure jobs. Why? Because only if you're good at it, only if you're good at it, if you think that HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you guys can become web developers. Absolutely not. Okay. If you feel that Ajax and PHP, you guys are going to become a web developer. Absolutely not. Okay. There's a lot of things that go behind the scenes. It takes us four months to train a student in just web development properly. It takes me four months to do that. What about cloud engineering and DevOps? Again, uh, the kind of market that has currently become, it has become very competitive. So if you're thinking that I'm going to do just cloud computing or just DevOps again, it is not a very good idea. Why? Because companies don't want that. Think about it. Let's let's all of us just understand this. Okay. I want to bake a cake. That is my aim. I want to create a cake. Now one person is extremely good at uh, buttering the pan so that the cake actually comes out easily. One person is extremely good at buttering the pan itself. There's one person who's extremely good at mixing stuff. Okay. The batter and the cocoa powder and everything. One person is extremely good at uh, using the microwave. So will I employ three people to bake that cake or will I employ just one person who knows all of these things, not to the very professionalist level, but he knows how to do all these three things. What do you guys think? What will you guys do? What do you think? What do you guys think guys? Please let me know. What do you guys think? Think about it. You want to bake a cake. What would you guys do? If you are Ambani or Bambani, then yes, you are going to hire all the three people because you are Ambani and Bambani, Gadani, Ambani, but I'm not. And even companies also don't have that much money to burn. So what they prefer, they prefer full stack engineers. They prefer people who they can place in one team and just pull it out, him out from one team and place him in the next team. That by aaj tu front end mein kaam karega. Tomorrow you are going to work in backend. Day after tomorrow you're going to work in cloud. You need to know how to integrate these technologies together. Are, he knows how to uh, mix things properly, but he doesn't know how to pour it uh, right into the tray itself. How will you bake the cake? You know how to integrate these things properly as well, right? You need to know how to integrate these things properly as well. All these steps, you need to integrate them properly as well. So that is the point of a full stack web developer. If you're learning just front end, just back end, just DevOps, just cloud computing as a fresher, it's not a very good idea. Yes, you are working in the industry. You have worked in fr full stack uh, front end development for like three, four years. So yes, you should just focus upon that, build a career out of it. But as a fresher, you need to have as many opportunities as possible. If you're just learning full stack, you are just able to apply to full stack jobs. You're not able to apply to, uh, sorry, if you're just learning front end development, you're able to apply to just front end development jobs itself. You're not able to apply to full stack jobs. You're not able to apply to DevOps jobs, cloud computing jobs, backend jobs. So many opportunities just wasted. Tanushri, we are working upon the LOR. Uh, we are going to release the LOR within the week. I've already told you, so do not worry about that. Okay. 
so that is the point that i'm trying to make right over here guys that is the point that i'm trying to make as simple as that so if you are thinking about learning cloud computing on devops please don't do that learn about full stack development front end back end devops as well as cloud computing okay uh, so can you explain uh, where to study dsa because you can't just become uh, come to lead code as a beginner and all do all the questions can you explain how and where to start so abel matthew there are multiple ways of doing it uh, first you can just learn it from youtube or you go over some websites and learn from there uh, that is one of the options available to you if you want to do it for free now uh, if you don't want to do it for free you can enroll into a training program where they will train you in the self and you can learn from there as well that is up to you to figure it out okay but i will definitely suggest do not do it from a from a book like i did that mistake i was not able to understand shit from it okay so bsc karne ke baad uh, scope uh, hai kya aditya uh, companies don't care what you are studying dude let me be very frank with this, this with you guys companies don't care what you are studying the companies don't care what degree you are having if you have the right knowledge if you have the right uh, like projects if you have the right skill set they will hire you it's as simple as that so yes the scope is as high as a particular person doing btech so that's the same thing right uh 21526 just email me at shorya.sinatedeptown.in i will help you out with that so i am asking a genuine question should i learn dsa in javascript or not uh, maruti agrawal i actually answered this in the starting of the class never learn dsa in javascript or python only in c++ or java so what about prompt engineering oh ho 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 we got one more fellow in every boot camp there is just one more fellow okay how many of you guys after doing bca is there a scope or not abey bhai tum bca karo tum mca karo tum bba karo tum btech karo tum mtech karo tum jo karo karo Com go to any company get a certificate from iit bombay saying that you are doing mtech in csc right over there or btech in csc right over there go to any company show them are degree iit right over here uh -huh. Take me in. They'll kick your ass out of the uh, like of the office itself. Companies don't give a single f about which degree you are having. You need to understand that your degree is just because there is a common consensus in India within the parents that if you don't have a degree, you are you are just uneducated. So you are doing a degree due to that, just because of the society. To get a job, your degree has zero value, less than zero, negative value itself. showing up with a degree is basically telling a company that i went to a particular place for 3 4 years and did unnecessary tasks right over there without complaining and i got the certificate that is what a degree tells you so who should go for a mtech uh, students who, who don't study at all for their placement should go for their mtech because in mtech as well they have to study the exact same thing to get the exact same placement so you are actually and they have a lot of money then definitely okay uh, how many of you guys Oh, uh, have this question about prompt engineering, guys. La last way, last last particular question. Prompt engineering, guys. Prompt engineering, guys. College matters or not? No. If you are from a very good college and you have good placements in college, then that is an opportunity. But yeah, outside that, it does not matter. What? Uh, anybody? Prompt engineering, guys. I, I saw a particular question uh, right over there. What prompt engineering, sir? Prompt engineering, can I? there's nothing called as prompt engineering it's a gimmick i don't know who is teaching you guys all this shit in any company i have worked with companies like microsoft i have worked with companies like google i do hirings for these companies itself never in my career i have seen a prompt engineer position in these companies if they want a particular person to work on prompts they'll just ask one of the software engineers that go and do this that's it they never hire there's no position in any company called as prompt engineer i don't know who is teaching guys this shit okay if i am having a prompt engineering subject then your college is much <laughs> bigger shit than everybody else itself sure how to get an internship in a company like google advice please okay this is something i am going to let you guys know right now itself google has finally opened the doors for fresher enrollments for the past 2 years uh for the past 2 years google was only hiring through referrals that's it 
open hirings was not happening in two years at devtown we help students get placed we were only able to place just 70 students at google only 70 students at google that's it in two years and that through every single one of them was through referrals for the very first time in 2024 google has opened up summer internships and everything for general public now anybody so the hiring pattern is going to improve right now that is something I'm going to let you guys know. Game development does not exist in India. Very few uh, studios are there. Very few hirings happen. So do not waste your time. I'll suggest do full stack development uh, because that also includes a lot of stuff here from game development as well. If you get any opportunities in the future, then go for like that. Okay, I'm, and I'm not lying about it, guys. I can even show you guys that I'm not lying about it. These are just some of the students that we recently placed. Some of the students. So Microsoft, Gap Inc., ISRO, Amazon, then Samsung, Geo, Flipkart, Oracle, Barclays, Walmart, Dutch Bank, Fidelity Inc., uh, DigiHealth, Cognizant, Case Point, TCS, Infosys, Qatar Airways, LNT, uh, BHEL, Bhel, okay, then Deloitte, uh, TCS Digital. Adani Solar, British Telecom Group, uh, Cognizant, uh, ZS Associates, A Light Project, Wingman Partners, Herman uh, Services, that is basically Samsung. Uh, then you are having PWC, you are having Massive Earth Foundation, then you are having WaveNet, GenPack, you are having people who have got into Lowell's India, Deloitte, then you are having Accenture, you are having people joining in, in Accenture once again, Cognizant, JP Morgan, and JSO. He got through the internship program itself. Warner Brothers, that is Discovery. Then you are having your Sony, Angel One. Then you are having Samsung R&D and so on and so forth. So all these students that you are able to see, okay, all these students and amazing companies right over there. Amazing companies from Amazon to HSBC to IBM to Visa. That was the highest placement that we got right over there. Manhattan Associates, Last Industries, ShareChat, HP. Um, then you're having Samsung, you're having IBM, you're having Deloitte, uh, Oracle, Gemini Solutions, Barclays, and so on and so forth. There are so many different companies that we have just placed our students in. And believe me when I say this, that it actually works. Whatever I've told you guys, the particular, so all these, of course, we trained them. We taught them everything. We gave them internships. We even helped them get their placements as well. And yes, they have done extremely great due to that. But all of them actually followed the same timetable. All of them actually followed the same stuff that we are telling you guys right now. The reason for that is because we have been in the industry for such a long period of time that we are able to understand. We have conducted so many. I personally have conducted more than a thousand interviews up till now. More than a thousand interviews I have personally taken up right over there. So believe me when I say this that this works this works how to become a game developer you become a game developer by not learning that okay first of all because there are no jobs in game development in india very few opportunities are there and you are not going to get them until unless you are making a game of your own and it is a huge success and somebody refers you to a game development studio so do not waste your time okay that will be my suggestion learn game development as a hobby that's fine as a hobby it's fine okay I do not do game development. That is my suggestion to you guys doing masters from abroad right now abroad. There are less placements than India. Most of the students going abroad are coming back to India without any placements and they're remaining unplaced in India as well because they have a gap year. Do not do that. Okay. Do not do that guys. <clears throat> How to enroll in Google company for internship. Just go to Google's career page. I think so. 2024, 2024 summer internship. Google, I think so. They have placed it. Yeah, as you're able to see, Bangalore. Uh, just search for that, and Google will have its own uh, particular all the internships. Okay, so you can just go there and you can just apply through that as well, or you can just select from here. Uh, NCE. Okay, let's go with this. Apply on unstop. That is false. Jobs Insider. Uh, tech program. So yeah, you can just search for it. You will get the opportunities right over here. Okay. And you can just apply from there itself. Is gap year bad? Yes, it is bad. It's not good. Okay. Is there any importance to learn PHP while joining industry? Zero importance. 
full stack uh, java or python uh, neither of them full stack javascript so, uh, so what's the actual work in the internship uh, in which internship you work for the company they decide what in the work that you guys are going to do not me right at what age did you first get your internship and how i got my internship in the second year of my college how i got it through linkedin i did great projects i was focusing upon dsa a lot more for 6 months i was not able to find anything on linkedin then one day i got a referral i got into the company it's as simple as that i am good enough in c or c++ uh, but uh, good at da data science is it sufficient to get a job no not at all data structures algorithms computer programming plus data science to a very good extent then maybe you might be able to get a job okay so i have done the registration for training when will the course start and uh, mohammed you can do it today as well that is up to you when you want to start right okay so uh, in this exact same way even we have a training program as well that we done uh, we do the training program at cost like i said either we do it for free or we do it at cost now what does at cost basically mean so i am not available all the time right even in the boot camps i take one or two days of break so we get instructors from other companies let me show you guys some of these instructors you guys will be very happy to see them so these are some of the instructors that we currently have right now so we have people joining us from amazon we have people joining us from google rithik kumar is the one who teaches uh, data structures and algorithms uh, no he teaches computer programming so he is also one of the top 100 in the entire world on computer programming on both lead code as well as code chef so he teaches computer programming to you guys as well as an sde at microsoft so he works at microsoft right now then we have your uh, ravit kumar ravit kumar is my senior at google he is an sde 2 i was an sde 1 i when i left google so he is right now my senior at google he is the one who teaches data structures and algorithms then for example for data science we have people from mckinsey and company morgan stanley american express goldman sachs these are the people who teaches data structures and uh, data science to our students that is ai machine learning data analytics data science all that then we have people like nandini jalan from google sony tensorflow we have people from celtad moving infosys oracle hp porsche anshika gupta is right now the technical lead at oyo so she is also one of the instructors walmart and me as well so we teach full stack development to our students so that is how we basically handle stuff from the point where the student does not even know what is programming okay we start with the basics i don't care what you guys know uh, what you guys don't know i really don't care about that even if you know something we tell you guys leave everything outside before coming to our classes because we want to start from the basics we want to have a great foundation for you guys so we start with c++ java then data structures and algorithms in its entirety then computer programming in its entirety then we go further with your training program for example you chose full stack development or data science or cyber security and ethical hacking so cyber security ethical hacking we teach it together itself so whatever you chose uh, your classes for that will then be starting in that as well from the basics to the most advanced level let me give you some examples itself for example in full stack development the kind of projects that you do is a full stack clone of uh, uber airbnb then full stack clones of um, book my show zomato now when i say full stack clone i really mean it that means front end made entirely in Re uh, react back end made entirely in mongodb express node js deployed on aws that is entirety of cloud computing involved right over there as well as orchestrated using devops so that even if a million people are coming to your platform it won't hang it won't crash that is the level of the projects that we end up at and we start from the basics we start from the basics of web development front end web development back end web development devops cloud computing and then the projects that is what we follow right over there in a similar manner for our data science students we start with the basics python numpy pandas report generation okay excel power bi tableau a little bit of basics of bi itself business intelligence then we go further with 18 machine learning algorithms six deep learning algorithms three ai algorithms itself each algorithm has its own mathematics its own understanding its own project as well every algorithm has a different project this is to make sure that you are able to understand the projects properly 
you work with audio data video data image based data you work with llms that is large language models basically that is what is used to create your chat gpt on all that okay so how to create that that is what you understand right over here and then your final project is basically a chat gpt clone made by yourself that is the kind of projects that you guys work around for your cyber security and ethical hacking you guys have other the projects i'm not that proficient with cyber security and ethical hacking so i am not involved with it actually harsh akshit who is a cyber security expert at google and has previously worked with owasp he's the one who actually teaches cyber security and ethical hacking so that is it but that is not where we stop this is important because of your placements dsa cp projects yeah i'm able to understand that but we also like to build the entirety of the resume of our students as well so basic yeah we are deaf town so we have no problem in providing an internship certificate a letter of recommendation of a letter from deaf town that you worked at deaf town for four months as a data analyst or as a data scientist or as a full stack engineer so okay are you worked as a small startup uh, as an intern itself you are able to showcase that but what we have done for you guys is the greatest thing out there we have collaborated with more than 30 different companies to provide you guys with a one month guaranteed internship after the end of the program guaranteed and i mean by that there is no interviews there is no examinations nothing a guaranteed internship with the top most companies in india let me show you guys some of these companies These are a list of some of the companies that we have collaborated with for full stack web development and software engineering. So companies offer both of them right over there. We have companies like Amazon. We have companies like Cognizant, Commonwealth Bank, Datacom, Deloitte, EA Sports. So all those game developers out there, companies don't hire game developers. They hire full stack engineers and then they convert them into game developers. Let me just show you guys that because EA Sports is one of our clients. Then we have Goldman Sachs, we have HP, Infosys, J.P. Morgan and Chase, Lyft, Quantum, uh, Skyscanner, Standard Bank, Telstra, Walmart. All these companies guaranteed one month internship. And the best part is that the student chooses which particular company he or she wants to do the internship with. He chooses when he wants to start the internship. We arrange that with the company, and then you directly do the internship with the company itself. For example, in data scientist, that is our data science program itself. You are having companies like Accenture, Boston Consulting Group, British Airways, Cognizant, GE Aerospace itself. You are having companies like KPMG. You are having companies like PwC, Quantum, SAP. So somebody was asking about SAP as well. So SAP basically data scientists they hire a lot. Then Tata. These are the companies for data scientists. That is data analysts, data scientists, all these uh, students uh, that are interested in that. And then you are having your cyber security. In cyber security, we don't have a very large list of companies because they don't hire a lot. That is the reason why there are some companies itself like AIG, ANZ, that is Australia and New Zealand Bank. You are having JP Morgan and Chase. You are having Walmart. You are having your Mastercard, PwC, Telstra. These are the companies right over here. And we don't stop right over there as well. So after your one month guaranteed internship, guys, once again you go to your college today. Tomorrow morning, you guys will have your college, right? Go to your college, ask them, dude. I'm paying you like lakhs and lakhs of rupees in the second year, in my first year, in my third year. Uh, you should know that in your second year and third year, you need to do internships. Without that, you are fucked. Okay, can you provide me with a guarantee of an internship? Can you actually provide me the guarantee of an interview? Let me leave internship. Okay, chalo. I'm great. I know that I provided internship. Let's ask them. Can you provide me the guarantee of an interview as well? They'll just say no to you. Why? Because they can't. They just can't. This is something that we have been able to do because companies want to hire the right candidates. But candidates don't know what to learn. Candidates don't know what projects they have to do. Candidates don't know that they have to do DSA and CP. So we make sure that the students we are able to train them in the entirety itself. Train them in the entirety of DSA, CP, your C plus plus, Java, your full stack development, or data science, or cyber security itself. Whatever that the student, that the company wants them to know, and then we go towards your particular guaranteed internship. And the best part is that if you guys are able to do well during this guaranteed internship, that is the best part. If you guys do well during that one month guaranteed internship, you get a stipend. 
as well as you get the two months internship six months internship as well as ppo that is pre placement offer directly from the company most of our students as you are able to see most of the students that we have placed is through the program itself is through the program itself the reason for that if you are doing well companies don't have to take up your interview because they have already worked with you they give you a stipend and the stipend goes as high as 85000 rupees for goldman sachs that is the highest that we have been able to see and the placements the highest placement that we have received up to this point of time is i'm very sorry to say this but it is more than what i got so it was 64 lakhs per annum that was the highest package that we got uh, but that was something that i'm really proud of like he did exceptionally well right over there now the point is that the internship has no cost to it we never charge anything for the internship because companies don't take any cost from our end like companies don't have never asked us to pay money for the internship so we don't ask the students to pay for it as well the only thing that we ask our students to pay for is the training because the training is of 3 months long and it is daily classes right over there so we have to pay our instructors something so that they are able to come and take up the classes because they are not going to take up the classes if you are not paying them something like every single day putting up 2 3 hours of your time when you are already working in great companies they are also expecting us to pay something to them so the cost of the entire training which includes everything from c++ java data structure algorithms competitive programming that is four topics then your full stack development that is we choose full stack or data science or cyber security whatever you are choosing and then your aptitude verbal reasoning logical reasoning that is all included right over there because we have to do it because in some call companies they ask that so we have to make sure that you are ready for it as well so the cost of the entire training and internship is 3500 rupees that is the cost of the entire training and internship 3500 rupees and believe me when i say this this is less than what it costs at udemy it is less than what it costs at udemy you guys will say that oh udemy it's 800 rupees think about it is it 800 rupees 800 rupees for data structures algorithms 800 rupees for competitive programming if you choose full stack development then you will get 800 rupees for just mon stack then 800 rupees for such cloud computing 800 rupees for just de uh, your devops then for logical verbal reasoning 800 rupees itself and is any of the certificates from udemy helpful for you no why because they don't have any value what does devtown do you are connected you are getting a guaranteed internship with one of the top companies of your choosing guaranteed with the internship certificate as well directly from the company not through us plus a particular internship certificate from our end as well that you have interned at devtown as well so that you are able to build your resume because that is also very important <clears throat> the last particular batch that we conducted we had only 25 students in that batch the reason for that is so that the instructor is able to pay attention to the students they are able to put the efforts into the student itself yes it is 3500 rupees for 3 3 and a half months it might extend to 3 and a half months as well sometimes it do, does like we have to complete the pro like topics properly right we can't rush it so yeah that is the cost of the program uh, so right now we have opened up a new batch actually we just opened up a batch on 6th itself uh, so the batch is going to start i guess so in the next month or so uh the pre registration of that has started so how many of you guys will be interested in joining uh, a particular program like that how many of you guys will be interested in joining a program like that guys please let me know uh like i said guys the pre registration just to enroll into the program is just 500 rupees that's it 5 600 rupees in total so 600 rupees in total is that is the the pre registration fees just to register yourself for the program then whenever you want to start the program let's say you want to start the program in one month you want to start the program within three months you want know, to start the program in six months or something like that you can pay the rest of the amount and you can get started with the program immediately itself that is up to you guys to figure it out right now we have just opened the seats for just 25 students because the companies basically came to us and said that we want to hire students from you so we have to take in an enrollment of 25 students that we are able to send their names to the companies so for how many of you guys uh, would be interested in a training program like this please let me know it has the guaranteed internship the internship is guaranteed to every single student that is enrolling first of all that secondly the classes is going to be in the evening after 7 o'clock the reason is all the instructors are currently working in various different companies they get free at 536 so they will only be able to take up the classes after 7 okay so for those students um 
who are interested for the training and internship program the pre registration fees for the program is just 3 uh, 600 rupees itself i'm going to provide you guys with the pre registration link right now i don't know how many seats are remaining i will have to check for that but according to me the last time that i checked was we had somewhere around 15 seats that were currently remaining out of the 25 because some of the seats we have already given away um so those students who are interested for the training and internship program i'm going to provide you guys with the pre registration link right now itself guys give me a second give me a second guys uh like i said 215526 okay the particular uh will be happening in the evening after 7 o'clock itself because the instructors are only available after that they are not available before this <clears throat> what is the best time to go for this program uh, according to me the best time to go for this program is the first year of your college that is the best time to go for this program that is as soon as possible the reason for that is very simple what i have seen within students is those who got placed into big companies who got the great packages itself those are the kind of students who started early on those are the students who enrolled early those were the students who paid a lot more attention and those were the student who actually like gave time because see the more internships that you do the better your particular profile becomes so if you are enrolling in the first year you are able to get a good internship in the first year then you will get more internships in the sequ uh, sequential years itself in the second year as well you will get the two months internship then the six months internship then the placement as well so the better placements the better particular pay you will be able to get that is what i have seen up till this point of time uh, how can i start uh, mohammed just message email me on shoreda.sina@defton.in with your details i will help you out with that uh so can i prepare for gate with college and how uh, i will suggest against that because if you are in college no matter which but in exam for mtech you give that is gate uh, in that college as well you will have to study the exact same things so does marks matter in interview no if you are having a cgp of above 7 that is more than sufficient but usually it does not matter can we pay for euro for your program yes but uh, in this particular link you won't be able to do it you will have to connect me on email i will help you out with the same those students who are interested in the training and internship program please do complete your pre registration right now is it online it is completely online it will be handled on uh, because instructors are currently working at google right they can't just leave their jobs and come to bangalore and teach you guys so they are also from all over the world itself okay for those guys uh, who are interested in the training and internship please do complete your pre registration right now so what if for the pre registration but didn't get selected for the program then uh, see every student that is enrolling into the program gets selected for the program the internship is guaranteed to each and every student you don't have to worry about that okay <clears throat> abhi uh, just re email me i will see it today if that's possible okay so to apply for google summer internship you need to upload resume can you explain how to build resume just search for an ats friendly resume on uh, google images you will be able to see how to create your resume it's as simple as that ats friendly resume okay when will be the next batch we don't know last time that we started the batch was in Jan december 2022 so it has been almost a year since we started a new batch so it the batch is only start if the companies are hiring if the companies say that okay i want to hire from you then only we start a batch otherwise not otherwise what is the point of creating a batch when the company is not hiring from me please try to understand that right so for those students who are interested for the training and internship please do complete your pre registration right over here guys do not miss upon this opportunity okay because a guaranteed internship in the company of your choosing uh is a very big deal at the end of the day it's a very 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 big deal okay so please do not miss upon this opportunity guys i'll just check how many seats are available right now give me a second Okay, Hitesh Patel has already enrolled as well. Hitesh Patel is fast and furious right over there. Okay, like I said, guys, uh, getting a guaranteed internship except six hundred. What is the rest of the amount? The rest of the amount will be three thousand rupees itself. That is the total amount of the entire program is three thousand five hundred rupees. So you can just cancel six hundred rupees out of it. That will be the total amount. Okay. Uh, so please take boot camp, especially for data science. Oh, absolutely, the next boot camp is, I guess, on uh, data science itself. 
deep deep learning and deployment so that is the next boot camp the total fees is 3500 rupees that includes the pre registration fees so can we get a decent job just by learning full stack development uh devops even if we are good at dsa and cp absolutely yes absolutely yes even if you are not good at dsa and cp you will still get a very good job okay can we sign up tomorrow so it depends upon how many students are registering today if about um, uh, 14 seats are remaining right now or uh, if the 14 seats are gone then that's it right the pre registration fees is just 600 rupees itself guys we have kept the pre registration fees low so that you guys don't have to worry about it okay i provided you guys with the pre registration link please do complete your pre registration right now itself guys please do pre complete your pre registration right now itself guys okay just think about it guys it's a very simple concept you need to learn all these topics at the end of the day you do it on your own that's great you can find it on youtube as well for free you don't actually have to enroll into any program to actually learn these topics but the only problem is on youtube nobody is going to teach you guys how to integrate the technologies together you will learn front end development separately back end separately cloud computing separately devops separately and not that great of a level you will never be able to learn the latest things because again youtube pe pata nahi kab upload hua hai and then you are having the problem of ki nobody is going to teach you how to integrate the technologies together that is the biggest problem right over there that's the biggest problem right over there guys and the next thing is of course you are having your internship can we do it in the second year btech you can absolutely do it in the second year btech but my suggestion would always be do it as fast as possible do it as early as possible because that is where i have been able to see the results okay that is where i have been able to see the results how many of you guys so 1 2 3 4 four students have already completed their pre registration we have 11 more seats available hitesh patel shreya singh ashwarya Gulshan Yadav. These are the students who have completed their pre-registration itself. <clears throat> Can we do it in second year B.Tech? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Can I register tomorrow? Asta, I cannot guarantee if there is going to be a seat tomorrow because as soon as my for fifteen seats are over, we will not be able to take in any more students. Is the internship paid or not? Absolutely. Yes. That is the point of the internship, right? Now, as a reason why it is a guaranteed internship itself. Okay. Like I said, guys. these companies for example amazon goldman sachs jp morgan and chase they don't even come to most of the colleges in india think about it in just your college how many of your seniors are currently doing an internship at amazon how many of your seniors are able to currently do an internship at goldman sachs or jp morgan and chase itself just think about that and you guys are getting a guaranteed internship in these companies guaranteed So what about internship? Is it offline? No, it is completely online. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay, will the company pay stipend during the one month internship? Yes, if you are doing well, absolutely the company will be paying you a stipend because that is the point, right? <laughs> that is the point of the internship itself, right? So like I said, guys, uh, we are currently having some eleven seats available right now with us. For those who are interested in the training and internship program, please do complete your pre registration right now itself. uh and my reasoning is very low i'm unable to make a logic for a program you do that by practice nobody is born with it you do that by practice the more programs that you solve the more questions that you do the more coding that you do the more logic you will start forming it is as simple as that that is the point with programming it is just like mathematics you learn it you practice it you become better at it so we are currently having 10 seats available amol um, vas vas vani has also enrolled so we have somewhere around uh, 10 more seats that are currently available guys okay uh so i'm done with the pre registration please check but it's showing payment not received uh baby check up on your bank account itself because i'm not i don't know what is your name hitesh patel shreya singh ashwarya gulshan and anmol these are the students who have currently registered right now the training is uh, in companies or is it also offline See, the company is not going to spend a lot of money on you. Please try to understand it. For the company, they have just replaced the interview process with an internship, a guaranteed internship. Instead of taking up an interview, instead of taking up an exam for you guys, they have uh, just like they have replaced it with an uh, like an internship opportunity for you, a guaranteed internship opportunities. So, if the seats are left, will you share the link again? Yes, absolutely. But no, nah, that depends upon if the seats are remaining. 
okay so is there anybody who is still interested into enrolling into the training and internship program please let me know is there anybody who is still interested in the training and internship program guys please let me know what if we are not able to perform well in the internship first of all why the fuck are you not able to perform well in the internship we trained you we made sure that you are able to do everything in the training in the internship as well we have a mentor who is continuously helping you out solve all your queries so that you are able to do well then why are you not performing well if you are desperately trying not to do well in the internship then there's only god can help you in that case but yes if somehow you gave 100% but still the company didn't select you we have partnerships with direct internships direct placements as well we get like i said we have a 100% placement ratio there's a point <laughs> due to that right so how many of you guys are still interested in the training and internship guys please let me know how many of you guys are still interested in the training and internship guys please let me know but i have doubt i am a bca student can i apply or not banana if you were not even in college you could have still applied like it's see like i said companies don't care whether you are doing bca mca or and we also frankly don't care we only care about one thing that is getting you guys placed that's it that is the only thing that we are doing right now okay can i know the timings of the paid intern classes uh, it will be after in the evening after 7 o'clock itself after 7 o'clock i'm in college first year it does not like i said companies don't care about that the only that you are able to get into companies the better you will be able to perform right over there for those students who are interested in the training and internship program please do complete your pre registration right now what is the difference between the 10k course on your site the main difference is very simple there is no 10k course what happens is students wants emi options as well many students want that that we want to pay in emis now banks don't allow an emi on 3500 rupees product okay so they don't just don't allow that for us to happen so what we do is we will pool three students together create a course of 10k show it to bank that a student has purchased a 10k course on emi itself and that is how we collect the emi we pay to the uh, bank so that is how we handle things that the students if they want to pay on a monthly basis they want to pay through emi itself they are also able to do that okay uh does we need a skill to enroll in the only skill that you need to enroll in is do you have a brain are you able to see things properly are you able to hear my voice if you are able to do so then great you are ready to be enrolled you don't need to know anything about programming you don't need to know anything about development or something like that that is up to us to teach you guys that is not up to you guys okay so for those students who are interested in the training and uh, money problem sir that is the reason why we have kept the pre registration at just 600 rupees itself and you go to any other the day that you find a program okay i'm this is a bet i'm giving you guys because that is what i have betted myself against ki the day that i find any program that is able to do what we do at devtown at a cheaper rate than this will close devtown in its entirety will just close devtown in its entirety itself the reason for that is because we do it at cost uh, out of the 3500 rupees that you guys pay us we have to pay to the instructor 3325 rupees that is what we pay per student to the uh, instructor itself the rest of the money that is 175 rupees approximately that goes on into the cost for zoom the cost of the software the cost of the website that is what it happens shusti thako like i said there is no difference the 10k cost is just so that we are able to show to the banks that we can take up emi option for the students that's it i think so you didn't even listen to me shruti i actually explained that okay like i said guys for those who are interested please do complete your pre registration right now itself because once the pre the uh, once the students have enrolled i will not be able to do so how many seats are left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 5 seats are remaining right now guys 5 seats are remaining i'll just say the names as well shantanu uh, chitti deepak kumar uh, vedanti anush anu anush i'm very sorry if i'm butchering any names guys i'm not good with pronouncing names that is the reason why some of the uh, secondary names i've just left it out i was not able to pronounce it anushri anmol gulshan ashwarya shreya singh and hitesh so five seats are currently available right now okay how would i sign up on your website it is just not there on the website if you go there on our website and try to find the program it will not be available the reason for that is because we cannot show the banks that we are actually enrolling in such a way itself the banks want that okay the minimum emi criteria for giving us the option to give you guys the emi is 10k 
So what we do is we will show our banks that. So let's assume three of you guys said that we want to enroll in EMI. We'll pull you guys together. We'll collect the EMI from you guys. We'll pay it to the bank that okay, yes, ten uh, k course we have paid an EMI for one student. We are actually signing up three students right over there. That is how we make sure that the students don't face any kind of problems, right? They are also able to get the EMI options. They can pay on a monthly basis itself. Like I said, guys, those who are interested in the training and internship program, we are having just five seats available at the time of the first internship. What skills did you had? How did you get the internship? I got it through LinkedIn itself. I had a great LinkedIn account. I used to use LinkedIn properly. Many students don't do that. Okay, how are you going to decide which company to choose after training? That is uh, where your instructors come into picture, right? For example, you say that I am interested in backend development, so the instructor will tell exactly which company will be better for you for backend development itself. That is how it happens, right? Uh, Abhishek Shivastava, no issues in that. If you find it very costly, I am not forcing you to enroll. You can definitely go with Udemy. Just don't tell me at a later point of time that. Uh, That was not. It is not my suggestion to go with you to me. I'm being very frank with it. It is better to self-study. That would be my suggestion at the end of the day, right? But yeah, if you feel that it is very costly, you don't have to enroll. I've already said what is the timeline that you have to follow, what is the timetable you have to follow, what is the syllabus that you have to follow. Just do that, okay? How do you use LinkedIn actually? So for that as well, during the training and internship program, we have classes on that. How to use LinkedIn? How to use GitHub? How to make sure that you are using LinkedIn in the right way possible to get more opportunities for yourself? <clears throat> Can we pay from PayPal? Absolutely yes, but for that, email me at Shorya dot Sinatra dot Defton dot in. I will help you out with the same. Okay. Anybody who is still interested in the training and internship program, guys, please let me know. Uh, yes, Shruti. There is no other course. There is just one course at DevTown. Like you can choose between C, uh, your uh, data science, or you can choose between full stack. You can choose between your cyber security. That's it. Anybody? Uh, so, what topics will be covered in DSA? Uh, the topics that are there for the placement itself. Every single topic in DSA that is required will be covered right over there. You don't have to worry about that. That is our lookout. Okay, to make sure because we need the placements. That is all that we care about. Okay. By the way, is it on our hand to choose when to start this program? Absolutely, yes, Harshit. That is the point. But yes, the pre-registration. If you are not doing it right now, then of course we will have to wait if we are starting the program at any particular point of time. Can you provide it for free, uh, Bishik Shivasta? Absolutely, yes. We can definitely provide it for free. Uh, just that, uh, like, I'm not going to burn my own money. So you find me a way to pay the instructor three thousand three hundred twenty-five rupees. You find a way to pay the particular software companies one seventy five rupees. You do that for me, and it's free for you. You don't have to pay it on your own. You can steal, beg, borrow, whatever you want to do. But I'm not going to use my own money. That is my own money. I want to spend it on buying a projector next month. That is what I'm currently planning, and that is the reason why we do the program at cost. That is the point with the entire program itself. Like I said, guys, those who are interested in the training and internship program, please do complete your pre-registration right now itself, guys. Once you have completed your pre-registration, uh, please do let me know as well. That will be great. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys the attendance for today's class, guys. Give me a second. I'm going to give you guys the attendance for today's class, guys. Give me a second. Uh, can you please tell what is the EMI? My name, Shorya Sena. So if you don't know my the spelling of my name, just go down LinkedIn, Instagram. You can find the name, spelling of my name itself. And uh, uh, for your uh, name of Devtown, that is the name of this particular YouTube channel itself. So you can get the Devtown name from there. Okay, that is how I will be suggesting you to move further. If I don't do course now and pay prepayment, when can we begin? Uh, if you are doing the prepayment right now itself, you can begin the course whenever you want. You can begin the course after one month, three months, six months. That is up to you guys, right? Okay, let me create your attendance, guys. Give me a second. This is day five, am I right? Yeah, I think so. It is day five. <laughs>
prepayment refundable uh, no the prepayment is not at all refundable because we have to enroll you with the company we have to send your name to the company and everything the prepayment is not refundable at all uh, the reason for that is very simple because the process already starts once you complete your prepayment we have already allocated your seat we have already told the company that you are going to join and so on and so forth so we can't back out of it okay prathamesh kadu this i will definitely check that up prathamesh sometimes it takes time for the software to show me the names itself so that might be the case prathamesh i'm currently not able to see your name but i will definitely check prathamesh don't worry about it sometimes it takes a little bit time right over there you should have got an email uh, as a receipt as well so you don't have to worry about that okay does marks matters in interviews no companies don't care about your marks companies care about your knowledge companies care about your uh, skill set your internships that is what they care about okay so i have provided you guys with the attendance link as well give me a sec give me a sec guys i provide the attendance link as well as the pre registration link guys give me a sec both the attendance link as well as the uh, pre registration link is in the same message guys if you listen to this very correctly you will be able to do it uh so my college is super strict i might not be able to attend the program classes on some days will it go so every day if you are not able to attend the classes you will still get the recording of the live class so you don't have to worry about that okay with lifetime access so that is something that you don't have to worry about it okay like i said guys i provided the pre registration link as well as the attendance link you will be able to see both of them in the same message itself for those guys who are interested to do the pre registration please do it as soon as possible guys Uh, for those who are not interested to do the pre-registration, you can just complete your attendance as well. Okay, this is a very, very, very big chance, guys. Do not miss this opportunity. Okay, and I provided you guys with both the pre-registration link as well as the attendance link, guys, in the live chat. Please do complete your pre-registration as soon as possible, guys. I will meet in tomorrow's class and we'll continue from our class from right over there. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. is jb morgan a gift company it is a great company right over there how many seats are left three seats are currently left guys three seats are currently left okay so the pre registration link as well as the uh, attendance link is there if you guys uh, want to register for the same only three seats are remaining right now so you can definitely do that thank you so much guys we'll meet in our tomorrow's class and we'll continue from right over there thank you thank you thank you bye bye